My patient is NM. She's a 33-year-old female. She's unemployed and she's single. The patient presented at the emergency department on 1023, experiencing extreme sharp pain in her lower back on both the right and left sides, which she rated at a 9 out of 10. The pain was sharp, began about a week ago, was in her lower back, comes and goes in waves. It's made worse by movement, especially when she has to sit up. Pain meds are the only thing that relieve her pain at this point, and the pain radiates up and down her back. The patient was admitted into the hospital on 1023 and diagnosed with bacteremia secondary to hepatitis B and hepatitis C. The patient has a history of IV drug use. Her drug of choice was heroin. The IV drug use is likely how she got the hepatitis B and C. The patient was not on any medications prior to admission and she has no history of surgeries. Her mother had breast cancer two years ago and is in remission. Her father is living that has COPD and smokes one pack a day. Her paternal grandmother suffered a stroke and died at age 60, but the patient has no other significant family medical history. The patient was prescribed piperacillin, tazobactam, trade name Zosin, IV piggyback, over 30 minutes, 3.375 grams every 6 hours. This is a B lactam antibiotic. Its mechanism of action is it inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding to the um, penicillin binding proteins. This inhibits the peptidoglycan synthesis, which in turn inhibits biosynthesis. The bacterial cells eventually lyse because the enzyme activity continues even as the protein binding is occurring. This drug is an example of a antibiotic that takes a while to work. Uh, the tazobactam portion of the antibiotic inhibits many beta lactamases, including staphylococcal penicillinase. It is limited to working only on class 1 beta lactamases. The patient responded well to the medication, but she had to receive two separate rounds of the antibiotic. The elevated lives came back down to normal levels, and over time her, her pain level decreased due to the body being rid of the infection. The patient experienced no side effects, although diarrhea may be a side effect for some patients. My patient was receiving piperacillin for the bacterial infection of the blood, which was the bacteremia. Some adverse side effects of piperacillin can be um, pruritus, um, 0.5% of patients will have an allergic reaction to the drug. 0.9% of patients might experience diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting.